Hello and welcome. My name is Christina from Empowered Creator. I am a mindset and conscious manifesting teacher and coach, and this is my YouTube channel. Here I talk about all things law of assumption, mindset, conscious manifesting, the quantum universe, and a lot more. And my goal is to simplify everything without the fluff. So if you guys like this content and you would like to see more of it, I would love it if you would subscribe to this channel, comment on this video, like it, share it, and stick around. Also, if you need help with your specific situation, I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching, email coaching, small group coaching, as well as custom subliminals for whatever needs you may have. You may also want to check out my new mini course, Telepathically Connect with Your Specific Person. So if you're interested in any of these services, the links are below in the description box. Click on them and they're going to take you to my website. With all that being said, let's dive into today's video. In today's video, I want to give you guys a different perspective on how you look at the 3D versus how you look at your imagination. Because a big mistake all of us make, especially when we're starting out with the law, is that we tend to still regard the 3D as the reality, as the one and only true reality. And we tend to regard our imagination as something that is not true, not real, not realistic, and it's just a fantasy and wishful thinking. However, since as conscious manifestors we learn that the opposite is in fact true, the reverse is in fact true, I want to help you guys with today's video to see things in a different perspective. So this is what I'll be discussing in today's video. Stay tuned. So as I just said in my intro, the way we're socially conditioned is to view the 3D, to view the world of our senses, to view the material world as the one and only reality, as the reality, as the only truth. And we're so used to taking our cues from that reality. We are so used to drawing our conclusions from that reality. We are so used to forming expectations from what we see in that reality. And ultimately what we do is we observe the 3D world and then we react to it. However, when all of us stumble upon conscious manifesting, we discover a different truth. We discover that the actual truth is the reverse. The actual truth is that our inner world, who we are within, our dominant energies, our dominant inner states, actually dictate what the 3D reality is going to show us next. We learn and we start understanding and realizing that we are the ones who have the power to shape our reality. We are the ones who get to choose what our 3D reality, what experiences the 3D reality is going to show us next and how our life gets to be. So we get to a point where we start realizing that the 3D is just a reflection of our own inner world. The 3D is not the one and ultimate and only truth. The 3D is not set in stone. The 3D is not final. It's not fixed. It's not permanent. The 3D is completely malleable and it's completely dependent upon who we are within, what states we project into the outer world, what assumptions we project, what expectations we project, and what energy we project. So once we get into these teachings, we start realizing that the truth and the reality that we need to pay the most attention to is our inner truth and our inner reality. It's not what's out there. It's not what the 3D world is showing us because what the 3D world is showing us is just a mere mirror reflection of what is going on in here and in here. And so I want you guys to pay a lot of attention to that. I want you to start shifting your way of thinking, shifting your mindset towards that direction. You need to start regarding your imagination, your inner world, your inner states, your inner energies as the truth, as the reality, with the 3D following that reality versus the other way around the 3D happening first and then your inner world follows. So shifting your mindset and shifting your way of thinking towards that direction is also going to help you look at the 3D in a very, very different light. And what do I mean by that? A lot of you do your manifesting practices and then immediately look at the 3D for movement. And when you don't see movement, you get discouraged, um, you start questioning everything, you start second guessing everything, you start feeling like the law is not working, you start wondering if you're doing something wrong, etc, etc. What you're actually doing and the story you're actually telling by doing that is that you still view the 3D as the one and only reality. You still see the 3D as the one and only truth. So from now on, I want to challenge you to start shifting your way of thinking towards regarding and viewing your 4D, your imagination, your inner world, your inner assumptions, your inner perceptions as the one and only reality. First of all, you need to realize that the 4D is bigger than the 3D. 
the 4D contains the 3D. So how is it even possible that a dimension that is smaller and more contained and more limited is more true and more real than the bigger dimension that contains it? The answer is, it's not possible. The 4D is always more real and more true than the 3D because it is bigger, it is much more expansive, it is infinite, whereas the 3D is finite, it is limited, and it is linear, which are qualities that the 4D does not have. So with that said, the movement you need to be looking for, first and foremost, is the movement within. When you are, let's say you are manifesting a specific person, when you are doing your inner dialogues, your inner conversations with your specific person, or when you're doing your affirmations, or when you're visualizing, or doing sats, or whatever you might be doing, and you get yourself into a state where you're feeling more reassured, you're feeling relieved, you're starting to feel confident, um, it starts to feel natural that you and your SP are going to be together, you guys, that is movement. That is real and true movement. It's not just imagination in the sense of it is fantasy, it is wishful thinking. This is creation. This is decision. You are deciding that this is what you want, this is the experience that you want, and you're living it within. You are fulfilling yourself within, knowing that once that state becomes dominant within you, it is also going to be pushed without, and it is going to be reflected back to you by the world without. You want to keep in mind that the very first movement always, always, without exceptions, starts within. Before you're able to see any movement at all in the 3D, you first need to create your desired reality in the 4D. You need to create it in the bigger dimension so that then it becomes condensed and it becomes physical and it acquires all the features that you're able to perceive with your senses and then it comes into the 3D. So the 3D, and this is something to always remember, the 3D is always the last one to change. The first change, the first movement, happens within your 4D, within your inner world. The first movement always, always, always happens with imagination. Your imagination precedes, your imagination comes first, and the 3D follows, the 3D reflects. The 3D never precedes the 4D. The 3D never precedes imagination. The 3D always follows. So your imagination, your inner world, your inner energies, your inner states, are always first. They always proceed, and this is where everything starts. So when you're out there in the 3D looking for movement, before you get discouraged, before you start second-guessing everything, you want to remind yourself that everything that you do within, all the inner work, all the inner practices, all the imaginal acts, all the change in states that you're feeling, the changes of energy you're feeling, that is movement, that is your movement. That is evidence that what you're doing within is working. Having an inner conversation with your specific person that feels so natural and it puts you in a state where you start feeling confident, you start feeling that inner knowing that everything is working out for you, where you start feeling reassured and relieved and calm and blissful, you guys, that is movement. If that movement is sustained and becomes dominant within you, the 3D is also going to follow and it's going to reflect it to you. But that, in the 4D, in your imagination, that is already movement. That is your first movement. Like I just said earlier on this video, the 3D is the last thing to change. So if you're looking for changes, if you're looking for shifts, you're looking in the wrong place if you're looking in the 3D. The first place to look for movement, the first place to look for a change, is your inner world, is your imagination. This is where everything originates. Once you start feeling the shifts in your imagination, once you start feeling the internal changes, you can be sure and you can be reassured that the 3D has no choice but to follow suit. As long as you sustain this shift dominantly, obviously you're going to have some wavering here and there, but if your dominant state becomes uh, that new shifted state that you're creating within you, then the 3D has no choice but to follow. The 3D has no choice but to reflect that to you. So this is the change, this is the proof, this is all the evidence you're looking for, that things are working out, that things are moving for you, things are shifting for you, things are happening for you. In you if you're feeling the internal shift, then this is your movement. The 3D is going to be the last thing to change. And by the time it changes, you are going to feel so fulfilled within you. You are going to be feeling so confident about your desire. You are going to be feeling um, so complete and so full 
that you may not even feel surprised when the 3D reflects your desire and reflects that new state of yours. With all that being said, I'm going to wrap up this video here. I intend that this has helped. As always, I very much appreciate you guys being on this channel, watching this content. I love making this content for you. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all at the next video. Until then, take care and bye-bye.